And we're recording. All this right. is going to be the saddest <laughs> grappling match ever. I would like to preface this with how tired I am right now. This is Dan. I'm with my shirt off. Hi, everybody. This is Greg. I will eventually have part of my shirt off. So we were legitly under the weather tonight. Everybody else canceled, but we're like, fuck it. We're still training. And we were smart to realize don't punch and kick each other. Instead, we just flopped around like two fucking... Yeah, the, dif the difference between grappling when you're tired and, like, punching and kicking when you're tired is... You go, grappling when you're tired, you just look stupid. Bunch of bums that drank rubbing alcohol. Yeah, and then, but if you punch and kick when you're tired, then eventually someone's just gonna throw a wild haymaker yeah. and the other guy's not gonna dodge properly and you're just gonna break something. I got my ass. I literally, from second one, had no fucking energy i fucking hate the winter time yes fuck the winter so i'm too skinny for this shit no matter what i won he could have taken dan dan tapped me yeah. out so much and yet i still won this i mean i know <laughs> there's that whole thing about technique like uh strength does not matter fuck that if you have zero strength <laughs> like i get it you know like strength is even more important when you don't have it like when i literally just does nothing like i go to put greg in my guard you want to be able to squeeze your legs around the other guy's torso, that sounded gay, but anyway, you want to be able to <laughs> squeeze your haunches around his body, but you got nothing, it's just, it's a facade, it sucked tonight, <laughs> it's, so it's a good thing we're talking about it, so we can totally make ourselves sound tougher too, uh, to get something from it though, remember under the weather, I'm not going to go to the bar and start shit, <laughs> I think I'm too sick for this crap, dude. I'm out of here. That's why. That's why some people get drunk before they start fights, so they don't even realize how. Yeah. Bad I'd have about three seconds of like full, super saiyan, not super, not even that regular, Vegeta, <laughs> feta cheese power, and then. Oh, this is fucking god damn. And, see, and this and uh, this this is pretty much the only reason I was actually able to tap you. At all. I just had nothing tonight. I, you got me. I was, I was keeping score like a grown up at a kid's little league game. You got me four <laughs> times, I got you twice. And sometimes I was just glad you tapped me because I was tired. <laughs> that's, that's how you know when you're dead fucking beat. You're like, oh, thank God, I got tapped. Yeah. That one point I get Greg in the choke. And it was such a hard, you'll see it, it was over by the corner of the couch. And it's not even like the proper choke. I literally just like grab my wrist and just like wrench my arm around his neck. And in my mind, I'm just screaming like, fucking tap out. <laughs> just die already. Fucking stop this bullshit. So what happened right there when Dan was moving his arm? Oh, yeah. Was So at the, the next room over um, is wood floor. This transition piece. And so uh, I guess I, I was doing like a, I was trying to do for a shoulder thing, I think behind your back or whatever. And you're like, fuck something popped. And yeah. Then, and then it turns out you Because my funny, my, my elbow, or wherever you're, you're a nurse, my funny bone location was like jammed against the transition piece. But when it got torqued, it like got forced and popped over it. But it made from my elbow down to my fingers like go numb. And it like popped. Even my wife, you can't see her, she's on the couch. She's like, the fuck was that? I'm like, <laughs> and at the moment, like I didn't know because my, like most of my arm's numb and I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Great, great, I broke my goddamn arm. Yeah, see here I wish it was just like, couldn't we just nap? Couldn't you just calm down, Greg, and you're gonna blow my nose. <laughs> this is, this is, this is actually half the time I'm just relaxing. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, God, I used to get a, a subscription to Black Belt Magazine when I was young and I believed in, when I, when I believed in magic. <laughs> And they actually, I remember they had an article in there about, like, training when you're under the weather. And, like, there is some, like, validity to it. But, like, everything with a grain of salt. I think, I think it is good every once in a while if you're not sick. Like, me and Greg aren't sick right now. We're just run down from cold weather and kids and life germs. And there is some validity to it. Like, when I was in the military and they'd train us when we were tired to do some things that were simple, you know, when you're, when you're rested. So it's good to do this, but don't do it all the time. It's, like, don't, just, don't, don't get yourself tired just to start training. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> Why are like, you licking underneath the park benches? <laughs> I'm getting ready for my drink. Get ready to spar later. You go to the mall. Hey, kid, can I have your lollipop? Not a perverted thing. <laughs> Not a perverted thing. I just want to train sick. One of the, one of the things they, they would, one of the better grapplers that I used to train with when I was on a fight team and I was doing the professional thing. 
um, was they would say that he would say that like relax when you're in a position to relax. You know, like if you're not yeah. in a spot, don't stress yourself out the whole time. You're not trying to muscle everything all the time. And that's actually what I was trying to do a lot here because I didn't have that much energy. And he's like, it needs to be explosive, almost like a snake. Yeah. Spike. And like, I'd say that's the one downside to when you're this tight. I had zero explosion. And that really sums <laughs> us up. It was just just the misting. <laughs> the misting. So the, the one thing that was training, I would definitely say, when you train and you're worn out and you're tired, is the, the chances of getting injury are so huge. Like even with just grappling like this. Like you just you got to be very careful, and you got to know your training partner, and you both got to know what level you want to bring it to. Like, even though we we still went pretty intense, it, it, this is definitely we're we're also allowing small joint manipulation here yeah. too. Like you're not going to see too much of it because it'll be mostly when it's <sighs> there wasn't too much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> there was like like there was several times I was just like move body and it was not it was not happening. I, we, we, you and I, something I noticed is we actually spent a lot of time in a half guard, one it's, way or the other. It's comfortable. <laughs> I think because both of us are trying to play a little more defensive. Yeah. And so I would, like, take it every chance I got. And, yeah. And. Like yeah. right here is just a good example of. Like give, me, yeah. give me an arm. Yeah. What? Like how you just put my arm underneath your leg. Like I had no risk. I was like, whatever. Take no. me. <laughs> <laughs> Take me Johnny Utah football football star underneath the bleachers. Best prom date ever. <laughs> this is this is gonna be the sexiest episode right. ever. <laughs> you like sick porn? No, like actually just sick people porn, not sick porn. <laughs> oh my god. So one thing we were supposed to do tonight, and we didn't, and I forgot, is we were gonna each do a technique. Remember that? We actually talked about oh, that. Oh, yeah, I think we could go you'd mention that. Yeah, and I thought that'd be like a neat thing to add to our videos, but oh, I completely forgot. Because like, I was running around all day with the kids, and every, you know, I was texting people out who, you know, really, every time we train, we, I swear to you, we have friends that text us and say they're going to come. And they will. One day. One day. You, there, it at least happened once, because there's one video with more people being here. I didn't Just edit them in. But the <laughs> one guy, it's funny, after he came and trained, he moved to Florida. Yeah. To escape. Like in the span of a week. Yeah. So, you're, you're not going to see Matt anymore. No. Or anybody. <laughs> we are actually the loneliest people on the planet. <laughs> this is our Super Bowl episode, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy yeah. Super Bowl Sunday, everyone. Yay. I hope your favorite football team wins. <laughs> Good luck in your sporting endeavors. <laughs> Except from Simpsons Excelsior. <laughs> We're the nerdiest fighting people. Ugh. Um, and another thing that you, you will probably notice and pick up on a lot is, um, you know, it's just, this, this, this I, you know how I always spar in regular clothing? Well, yeah. I'm running out of shirts because, <laughs> because yeah, and, and you're totally taking advantage of this and, and doing it to the best of its ability to, you're now pulling it over my head hockey style <laughs> occasionally, but my feet always get stuck in it. It's so shirts actually I've, I've picked up from tonight. Are, can be a blessing or a curse in disguise. Uh, because there were, I think once or twice you actually got caught up in my shirt and like oh, couldn't uh, yeah. properly do a technique. It's usually when I'm trying to uh, get you in my guard and I'm trying to sneak my foot across your belly and it just gets, it's like a journey. <laughs> like there's orcs and <laughs> fucking Frodo shows up. And <laughs> this is taking forever. I know, man. Oh, God fuck. damn you and your button downs. Fuck my Dragon Ball Z earlier. <laughs> fucking fell off the dragon road. I was so fucking pissed. And I'd watch that in the morning. I'd watch Dragon Ball Z, and then I'd watch Sailor Moon. Just to just to get a. And I realized cartoons could be awkwardly attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if like anime characters like their proportions exist in real life. That would be freaky. Well, you you like need a, you need a fair amount of surgery to to get that appropriately. Here's your, me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Your eyeballs would be huge. Here's me talking just to. Take up time, precious time. <laughs> Seriously, both like there's nothing. The, the the amount of jokes we were also making at each other because we just had the time to. Yeah. Is that's that's another one of the things. This is not a video to what I would not not that any of our grappling videos are high level jujitsu, but this is definitely not any high level technique. Well, you so. know, so what since, is a high since level? We're, since we were gonna be trying to show people stuff and then forgot to anyway. 
here's here's some simple technique things that can I can verbalize that will probably help. So when you're clinching up and both of you have your hand around each other's necks and you're trying to kind of get control over who's gonna um, be on be on top or who's gonna get the first move. If you can have both your hands on the inside of the other guy's hands, so when you're like coming at each other, if you can get both your hands on the inside around his neck, that's a very good defensive position where both his arms are on the outside because it's much harder for them. You can basically almost block anything you're going to do initially. Mm -hmm. Well, that was actually, I used to, um, I used to do kickboxing and talk, like even like the movie Tie Plunge. Like when you get like the, the plum, the movie Tie Plum, you're actually. You know, you have it, like, roll your elbows into it. Just, just to make it that much harder for them to breathe and that yeah. much less blood going to their brain. It's more like just a wearing of the opponent down. It's kind the of extra thing. couple inches. Yeah, especially, you know, in a sporting setting like that, you know, by round number or whatever the fuck. I'm <laughs> fucking tired like I am now. I think we already passed it where you, like, buck me off of you. Like, the shirt was over your head. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. Smell it. Smell it, motherfucker. Back in the day, when I would, when on the fight team, when, when like, somebody was having, like, a really tough time, people, people would, like, fart on your face, and they would, like, burp on you, and that's, that's one of those things that you, like, you really wouldn't think, like, you're like, oh, fuck this guy, you're gonna be, like, more tough about it, like, that can, depending on what they had for, like, lunch, that can really just take the fucking fight out of you. So, <laughs> here's a horrible story from my Marine Corps days. So when I was in infantry school... I was going through the machine gunner course, and you're tired all the time. Like you're perpetually tired. Yeah, you're just like literally, you could fall asleep tired. You know what I mean? Like like wow. fall asleep tired, no shit. But like you are classroom setting, you get five minutes to yourself, you just fall asleep. You're that tired. And there's a lot of times you're not allowed to fall asleep, or if, you know, it's this whole thing. Like you fall asleep, that's equated to you fall asleep on guard duty. Everybody dies. So like falling asleep unless you're allowed to is the devil. Like it's really like. A very bad thing to do. It's very frowned upon unless, like I said, it's actually time to sleep. So this thing started where if a guy fell asleep, everyone would gather around and they'd jump him and then another guy would like rub his balls in his face. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm in a different world and I never fucking fell asleep. <laughs> like after watching like three guys in the matter of like two days get pretty much like their faces raped with hairy balls, I was like, I'm not fucking fall and you didn't after. and you didn't sleep for a month afterwards yeah i was like the marine corps is weird like this is <laughs> there's a lot of weird shit going on in here uh sorry if there's a lot of dead silence tonight um but no i definitely want to do at least before the start of each video where we do like one technique and i'm definitely going to promote my shit i'm not a black belt like greg here second degree sorry but uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but no, I'm I'm the world's most salty white belt. But at least you know I want to show techniques that th things that I feel find work for me more. More just kind of you know I'm putting these videos up here. You know, kind of explaining like what I'm doing while I'm going about this. Well, you know what the method to my madness is. And I was just gonna start simple. I was just gonna show that technique where you throw a roundhouse kick and I elbow you in the ankle. I figured that'd be a good. You know, not too, many, starting point. not too many people can hate on that shit. You know? <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to like find some like crazy compli complicated like jiu-jitsu move. And it would be so <laughs> obvious, I just went on YouTube and I'm trying to like replicate it. <laughs> Talk, oh, here's where I'm just like desperately like... There we go. Yeah. Prison choking. You can't, you probably won't be able to see it. Oh, you see how I'm just like, I just grabbed like my wrist and just pulled it. Des desperation move. Oh that's god. What I, that's that's what I call when I'm when I'm in north south position and I just figure four with my legs, the guy's neck, and just like literally sit. Yeah. And I call that my desperation move. Yeah. And that was pretty much your desperation move. It yeah. Was like, and oh, really, my oh. my mentality was, I'm like, I know what a proper choke is. I'm fucking tired. I didn't know if I could move quick enough to actually like I had that one choke, and to sit there and kind of just literally, even though it's any other time, it's a simple move. Yeah. Like I was like, no. Stay here. Just, just pull. Just take home the fat chick. You're gonna get laid. It's okay. <laughs> Don't try to flirt with the hot chick when she goes to take a dump in the bathroom. <laughs> just fucking hang in there. You'll be fine. Well, I appreciate you getting me to the fat chick. <laughs> oh god, now he wants to fight. No. <laughs> uh, I'd say that's one thing I'm like, 
of all the sparring, of all the sparring partners and all the dojos, <laughs> like, but like of all the sparring partners I've ever had and trained with, you've definitely been the most level head. Like I enjoy training with you because I know, I don't know, you're calm and you're cool and you're collective, that whole thing. Like you're it's for funsies. Yeah, because I like when I was in high school, I'd kind of like just like how we fought in the basement. Like I'd find people. I found a kid that did judo, so we'd grapple. Like so, story. Here's yeah. here's how Dan and I actually met. We've referenced this as to how we like actually, yeah, like kind of refound each other. Back in the day, a friend of ours um, had like a really big basement, and he would like he did, kind of did like a self teaching himself martial arts, and like. I, he, he just had a really big basement where like I could spar with people and it was awesome and I loved it and I was in fucking high school and I was you know 19 years old well, not 19 like 17 <laughs> years old. 19 years old. so I was 21 years old <laughs> in high school um, I still swing by every once in a so while so he he told me that this kid that did kung fu and like, oh, yeah, I was doing Wing Chun at the time I think yeah, yeah. and like we and the, the the only things I really remember at the sparring session is that I think at one point I ran into a pole. Because he, he had, like, those kind of basements that had, like, the poles and yeah. the signal all over the place. And I, I, I think you, like, kind of, like, just ran at me and tackled me, kind of, and, like, hit me into a pole. And, Kill me. No. And I remember this is the first time I ever did an elbow drop on someone. Because <laughs> you, you were, like, trying to tackle on my hips, and I just, like, elbow dropped on your spine. <laughs> and that was a great I, thing. And you also chipped my tooth. Yeah, I just, I don't remember much of that. I remember at first trying to spar... And then it didn't seem to be working. So I just remembered, I'm like, I'm just going to brawl. Like, I'm just like, all right. I'm just going to fucking just, because it was a like a month before that, I fought three, I had three separate fights in a garage. So I found I actually found a local fight club. No shit. Yeah. And you I, tell me about that back in the day? Uh, well, it, it, it was only short lived because people were getting fucked up. But <laughs> yeah, we all met up. And it was actually behind, it was some pastor's son. In the back behind, it was in Elmer, New Jersey. I think it was the pastor's son. Yeah. It was the garage behind the church in Elmer, New Jersey. Nice. And we all meet in there, and it was like a bunch of like, the, all the punk kids and stuff, like all the punk rocker kids and stuff. And I fought, the, the, it was the, just when I started doing kickboxing. And I had just got done doing kung fu. But I literally the, just like, took one kickboxing class. Mm -hmm. And so up to this point, I was still really new to actually like real fighting, and it was one of the best experiences of my life because the first fight I had, it was like a draw, and they they just it was just pure boxing. There was no grappling. It was just straight okay. up just boxing, punching each other. Yeah, which still you know dead of winter in a freezing cold garage, squared off with screaming people. It was a good <laughs> learning curve for a high school kid. And um, the first kid, it, I mean, it was just a draw, and it was really just because. Never really experienced and like that, like intense. It was like an intense crowd and stuff, and we brawled. And then I fought another kid. And Did you guys wear gloves, or was it like bare knuckles? We wore gloves. Okay. And, but I was already kind of like in that crazy mindset now. The other kid, you could tell, was like where I was. I was like, I fucking got this next one. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucked that kid up. I still like, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I didn't. I fucked him up. Nice. And then the the third kid. It was it just like, you know, he really wasn't too into it. Like, just some people were kind of like, right away, you could tell he was just like, I'm done. I don't want to get punched anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it wasn't that long of a fight. And then a month later, I fought you. And that's like, I just switched back to like, all right, brawl like you did in a garage <laughs> mentality. And it took me a really long time to actually get to a point where like, someone throws a punch at you. Slip the punch. Do a counter. Like, you know, there was a, a long part of my training you know, someone threw a punch at me, I'd just shell up or I'd just move out of the way. Like, I, I wouldn't sit there in the pocket and, like, move side to side or yeah, duck not, under. Yeah, not do, not do the, like, classic head movements. Yeah, I couldn't fucking do it. Like, I just, like, I knew it. I would train it. I would do it the mitts. And I'd, and just finally one day, it, it clicked. It just started. I was your, I, your epiphany moment. Yeah, I told you. I was just watching boxing highlight videos. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I was just watching these different guys. I was watching boxing, like, defense highlights. Like, because I was thinking about this. Mm -hmm. I know I kind of struggled with it, and I um, how much time we got there? We're gonna be wrapping up soon. And I was like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. Instead of like worrying about like doing the combos or like from now on, if I throw a punch, I'm just gonna duck. You know what I mean? Like just just jump in the fucking pool, start slashing around, <laughs> and it, it actually worked. It was crude at first. You know, I definitely ate a lot of punches, but it actually got me to the point where, 
you know, I was moving after I threw a punch. And it's the same thing, if I saw my opponent, like, throw a punch at me, I would, instead of, like, moving out of the way or just shelling up, I would just do one of these techniques. You know what I mean? It, like, it almost didn't matter what. You would do a technique, and your body almost knew what to do. Yeah, and a lot of times, you know, it would actually, like, it would work. You know, like, it wasn't the best slip ever, but at least I, I started it. You know, and sometimes... Yeah. You know, what it wouldn't work is they actually would throw a hook and i try to slip. <laughs> get a punch. But at least, like, it, it got the ball rolling. You know, instead of, like, trying to do it, like, perfect right out of the gate, you know, I learned, okay, make some mistakes. And it definitely helped a lot. So um, this is this is going to be our last bout. And the only reason I know yeah. is because that's why I was sitting against the couch before the last one. Yeah, we're definitely, yeah, we're almost, come on, freaking. I like, I like how most of our grappling video is now us talking about stand-up. <laughs> oh, you know, it's like jazz. You don't know where it's going to go. There's my son. Even he was tired. He like wanted to wrestle, and then he's like, "I'm done." That's every every time you look, every time Dan looks over the side, he's like, "It's all right, dude. You can you can do next when we're done." When I'm yeah, dead. he kept asking me. Then we go to grapple, and he's like, mm. <laughs> "He's tired." I, he um after I went running today, he wanted to go running. So you know, he ran about like a half mile today. That little shit. He's to, good. To be fair, he's better than at it than I am. So <laughs> I actually um. He found my old military compass, and he like I printed off some Google Earth maps, and we walked around the neighborhood, and he kind of like got it down. Like I, I was teaching him just how to like read a map, like real simple concepts, like here's house, here's roads, like a maze. Like yeah. that's how he viewed it. You know what I mean? And I actually, awesome. I'm pretty good with it. I look, I'm falling asleep. Aw, hey, hey, he's falling asleep, and I'm falling asleep. Oh God, I know. <laughs> oh, this is so. This is when we said before where I fought so ridiculously hard to get out of this yeah. fucking chokehold. And like you're gonna, and I was like, all right, we'll get out of it. All right, cool. I'm out. I survived this. I totally did this. I was, I, oh fuck. I'm oh so, fuck. I'm back in it. Oh god damn it. That roll felt so cool. <laughs> then I just saw it, and I'm like, oh my god. There's and like then, two turtles rolling around. And this, this is actually an interesting thing because how you tapped me on this. Yeah. Is that so? He was actually Dan was actually doing a transition move. Yeah. And my my elbow was like up above my face, like in the. I, it, put put your elbow in a spot where it's not supposed to go, and keep like pushing it. Yeah, I was. And, yeah, I was gonna go for like a Kimura, like an Americana thing, but I wanted to reposition. I didn't realize I. Yeah, but like what happened is, I guess a part of him caught my like, as you can yeah. see, my, my shirt sleeve, and it was pulling my elbow. He eventually went over it, and it didn't pop my shoulder or anything. Yeah. But I'm like, oh fuck! And in that second, I tapped because I'm like, if this keeps yeah. going, I'm gonna lose it. Well, there's that one time you were on my neck, and I'm like, just fucking, not, I'm not gonna live through. I don't want to live. See, through that's, this. and that's yeah. and that's where that's you gotta be like, don't don't be too proud to tap because. You could yeah. possibly actually hurt yourself a lot. So. And it's like even like I why well, do you feel grappling is more controlled for when you're tired and you know there, there's only a certain amount of control. Of it. Like yeah. you and I technically are trying to hurt each other. I can't stress enough, like be careful. If you're gonna train when you're under the weather or sick or any time, like you don't wanna get fucking hurt. And so do do and I'm, I should say this every time, do as much proper training as you can. You know, don't Yeah. Don't literally just spar. Just don't you know, you did a little bit of martial arts training. I've done martial arts training, you know. Yeah. Do some type of formal training at some point of anything before you decide to, like, literally just go yeah. in the garage. Yeah, and we do a lot of training on our, like, we get together and we spar, but in our own time, like, I'm yes. shadow boxing or kicking. I'm, I'm doing very traditional shit on my own time. Yeah. But See, I'm, your son already just beat you up. I know, I'm done. All right, everybody. All right, take it Good easy. Next time. Bye.